Let's have a look at how we merge two images together in Affinity Photo using the transparency tool so that you can see one image behind the other one. So let's start by opening a new document and what I want to do is open a preset that I use and that preset is right down here a 6x9 ebook cover. 6x9, 300 dpi that's fine. Now, up comes our blank image, and I'll just reduce that a little bit so I can use it. Now, we find the first image, place it from the cloud. Now, where are my images? Maybe not the cloud. Cancel that one. The first image I want is perhaps in unsplash or pexels and it's a cityscape now where's a nice cityscape I can use the one I want oh that one there I think so we'll bring that over and that just drops into the eventually it's coming down from the cloud so it does take a moment across the internet now there's a nice image so I'll just get rid of that and if I reduce that completely in size and then select it you can see how much bigger the image really is so I can reduce that reduce that there and I can slide it backwards and forwards. There's the image of the, there's the main building that I want there. So let's have a look in there. And there is your first image there. Now I want to put an image on top of that. And this is how really how simple it is. Let's go back here and place an image. And this time place from the cloud. Is it in the cloud? Yes, it's in the cloud. 123RF. Have I got an image in here that I can place? The one I want. Maybe that one, maybe that one. I'm looking for a particular smoky image. There we go, that one there. Drag it out across there so that it's a little bit larger than the than the boundary so I can untag that I can select that one and I'll pop that one there because I've got a feeling I want to move the whole thing across there a bit there we go now I don't want to squeeze it up of course because that won't go you can see it's there, and that image is behind it. There's that one, and there's that one. Now, how do I get to see the building through that one? Go over here to... ...the fill tool, but actually it's a gradient fill. Now, let's do the type, which is down the bottom. I want a linear gradient, and it goes across there. You can see the small dot there and the small dot there at the left and the right and there's the gradient in between so let's select that dot there just push that back in a bit go to the color not that one sorry color wheel go to the opacity I want to set that left hand edge to zero Go to that end, select that to 100%, that's 100% there, okay. Okay, now what have I done wrong here? Opacity left hand side. Zero. Of 
course. Idiot. Fatal mistake. And a mistake I make all the time. Go back to there. Set the opacity to one. Let's have a look at this. There's my building there, which of course is not what I want. Go back. We want to delete that bottom one. That's the top one. Place that image there. There's our cityscape. Bring it in. This is how easy it is to make a mistake if you've got the wrong layer selected. And obviously, as you can now see, now I know that's the building I want there, but I want to reduce it in size to there. I want it just inside the boundaries. There we go. Now then, you've got that one there and you've got that one there. Let's turn off the cityscape and put that one there. But I want the cityscape in the bottom layer. Okay. Now, make sure I select that. Go to there, linear that side there, we want 100%. The left hand side, 0% opacity and already you can see the building on the left hand side. And you can modify that, you can alter that, you can do what you like with that. And you can see the building behind the couple. With a simple change of the opacity from the left hand side to the right hand side. Now if I just tap that again so we've got that marker there, I can bring that across to there and it's even more transparent but I can move that back over there changes the transparency slightly and you can see it moving across there and moving back there now where's a good spot you can see the building behind and through them and there you have it And that's all there is to it.